God is able to intercept. Amen. Joseph had a right to get rid of Mary. But God knew that for the honor he wanted to bring to the earth, he needed Mary to have this baby. The Bible says that God intercepted his thought. And this morning I come with a word. And God wants you to know that regardless of what you are going through, if there is anyone planning evil about your life, God is able to do what? To intercept their thoughts. Hallelujah. He will intercept their thoughts. He will begin to intercept their thought process. He will begin to tell them that they cannot do what they are planning for. And this morning I declare unto you that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. The Bible tells me in Isaiah 54, or verse 16, he says, surely they will gather up against you. He says, surely they will gather up against you. But the Bible tells me that it shall not be of me. He says, I are you blessed to be here? Yes. Hallelujah. Are you blessed to be here? If you are blessed, I'll ask you to kindly open your Bible to Matthew chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1. The Lord laid a word on my heart. Matthew chapter 1 verse 18. The Bible says that. But whilst he was still considering this, Joseph loved Mary. This year, the theme for the year is double honor. Hallelujah. Amen. And how many of you know that God is able to honor you? Hallelujah. Amen. And he is about to honor you, hallelujah. God had a plan to honor Mary, hallelujah, through the birth of Christ. And God had pronounced his blessing on Mary. And he has said that you will be the mother of the Savior, hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says that. But Joseph, when he realized, if you look at the account of the birth of Christ, if you look at the Luke account, he doesn't give all of this bit in details. I like the Matthew account because when Joseph realized that Mary was pregnant and he knew that he hadn't touched Mary, mm. hallelujah. Mm. So Joseph knew that he hadn't touched her. And for him, he thought, I'm not having anyone that is defiled, hallelujah. Mm. So the Bible says that he, he, he thought that he would get rid of her. But he didn't want, he loved her so much. He didn't want to put her to shame. But he said he would do that privately. Hallelujah. Amen. He would do that in a way that would not bring shame onto Mary. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Bible, what excited me when I got there, the Bible just caught my spirit. And the Bible says, whilst he was considering it, the Lord intercepted his thought. Hallelujah. Amen. And my message for you this morning is that God can intercept any thought that is not for your benefit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is able to intercept. Amen. Joseph had a right to get rid of Mary. But God knew that for the honor he wanted to bring to the earth, he needed Mary to have this baby. And if he had done that, it would complicate the issue. So whilst he was considering it, hallelujah, the Bible says, whilst he was thinking about it, before anybody will plan evil against you, they think about it, hallelujah. Before anybody will plan to honor you, they begin to think about it. They begin to process it. There will be a gathering, sometimes there will be a meeting, sometimes there will be things that will be done and they will deliberate their, their course of action. So Joseph, in his own mind, in his thoughts, I believe, and he was talking to himself, and he was saying, this is what I'm going to do. I cannot have a wife that is already contaminated by somebody else. How can I believe that what she's telling me is true? And before he could say Jack, the Bible says that God intercepted his thought. And this morning I come with a word. And God wants you to know that regardless of what you are going through, if there is anyone planning evil about your life, God is able to do what? To intercept their thoughts. Hallelujah. He will intercept their thoughts. He will begin to intercept their thought process. He will begin to tell them that they cannot do what they are planning to do in the mighty name of Jesus. So the Bible tells me that the angel appeared unto Joseph. And when the angel appeared unto Joseph, the angel reassured Joseph that this is the promise of God. And be, be, beloved, the, the angel called him the son of David. He reminded him of his lineage. He reminded him that from your line you were supposed to bring 
this. And so do not just be led by your emotions. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know who is planning against you. That meeting against you, that gathering against you, the Bible says that surely they will gather, but it shall not be of me. Hallelujah. Joseph had his own plans of what to do. But the Bible says, whilst he was yet considering it, the Lord intercepted his thought. The Lord intercepted his thought. And this morning I declare unto you that God will intercept thoughts. If there are decisions that you are waiting upon, that God is able to stop the process. And God is able to arrest their thoughts. And God is able to arrest their minds. And God is able to make a way where there seems to be no way. If it's a negative thought against you, that the Lord will stop it for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. Or if there's somebody who is supposed to bless you, that is supposed to honor you, that the Lord himself will reassure him because in one way Joseph wanted to get rid of Mary because of the story but God reassured him so if there's somebody sitting down thinking about you you might not even be at work here but there will be people sitting already in their bathrooms deliberating about you hallelujah thinking of what they are going to do to you but beloved, God is able to intercept thoughts because he says the heart, the heart of a king lies in my hand and he's able to reach out to us and he's able to go through everything. Hallelujah. The Bible tells me in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 that the word of God is alive and it is powerful. And the Bible says it is sharper than the sharper two-edged sword. It says it cuts souls and spirits and between joints and marrow and it exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God. Everything is naked and exposed before his eyes. And he is the one to whom we are accountable. Hallelujah. God is able to discern thoughts. That is why he was able to arrest the thoughts of Joseph before he gave up on Mary. And God knew that his plan had to come to pass. That Jesus needed to be born. And he needed to come from the lineage of David. And so he wouldn't allow Joseph to get rid of Mary. So he had to intercept his thoughts. And this morning I declare unto you that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. The Bible tells me in Isaiah 54, or verse 16, he says, surely they will gather up against you. He says, surely they will gather up against you. But the Bible tells me that it shall not be of me. He says, I have created the, the, the smith man. I have created a, people who make the weapons of warfare. That is why you sit in that car and the accident happens and you do not die. Because the Bible says that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And he says that no necromancy, no divination, all oh, against Jacob shall stand in the mighty name of Jesus. God had to intercept the thought of Joseph so that he does not do what he intended to do. Whoever is planning evil against you in this week, I declare that the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord who is our battle fighter, the one who teaches our hands to war, he is able to speak on your behalf. He is able to make a way where there seems to be no way. Regardless of where you have gone wrong, it doesn't matter. The Lord, when the Lord fights for you, he comes in as the advocate and he stands on your behalf and he becomes your lawyer when you have no way to speak, that he will speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. that the blood will speak victory unto you, that the blood will speak success unto you, that the blood will speak glory unto you, that the plans of the enemy concerning our lives to cause us to see disgrace. The Bible says that it shall not come. It shall not happen in the mighty name of Jesus. It says that affliction shall not occur the second time. You, you have had enough troubles already. And God says that he will deliver you in the fire. He will deliver you in the water. Hallelujah. Father, I give you praise and I give you glory. I give you thanks for everyone, oh Lord. No weapon formed against us as a ministry will stand. No weapon formed against your child will stand. No weapon formed against your marriage will stand. If God has to intercept the thought, he will intercept the thought. If God has to intercept the gathering and set confusion in their camp, he is able to do so in order to bring glory to your name. And I don't know who is gathering against you this morning and in this week. Whatever their plans is, 
But Bible says that all the word of God is sharper than any ah, two-edged yeah. sword. And it's able to further descend and cut across yeah. bone and marrow, spirit and soul. And he's able to expose thoughts. It means thoughts that are not of him. He is able to expose it. And he's able to nullify. And he's able to pull down. And he's able to cause you to have victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. And I just want to encourage you this morning that do not be afraid. The Lord is with you. Hallelujah. How would Mary have felt if Joseph had left her? What would he have done? But God knew his plan for her life. And he knew the purpose for which he had brought her. So he said, that is not my portion for you. And beloved, I want to encourage you that the enemy might gather. But the Bible says that it shall not stand. Hallelujah. Joseph could not separate from Mary because God had a purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. This year, God says he will honor us. Amen. And he will honor you. Hallelujah. Amen. He will honor you regardless of what you are going through. He will honor you if you will use the word of God who is able to expose thoughts. And you'll be able to face your challenge and you say, God, this is your word and I stand on it. As for me and my children, we are for signs and wonders. So when you face a challenge in your life and in your family, you can stand on the word of God and you can say that, God, this is your word for my life and I am trusting you true and true. Hallelujah. Amen. There are times that there might be difficulty in your financial life. If you will stand on the word of God, the Lord who is able to do all things is able. The Bible tells me that King Herod, had his own plan to kill Jesus. Hallelujah. He had his plan to kill Jesus. So when the wise men came to him and told him that they were going to look for the, the, the king who had been born, he said, oh, he was worried in spirit because he knew that the king had been born and he was afraid for his position. So he told them that you go and find him, but when you find him, come and bring me news so that I can go and worship him as well. But you and God knew that he had evil intentions, hallelujah. So whilst the wise men found Jesus and paid their respect, the Bible tells me that along the way, they decided not to come back to Herod to report. Why? Because God intercepted their thought through a dream. God caused the angel to appear unto them. Hallelujah. And God said to him, oh, to them, that don't go back the way you came. Go through another route. And when Herod realized that the people hadn't reported back, he was fuming, he was angry, and he sent men to go out and to kill everybody under two years old. But before he could say Jack, God had already revealed himself unto Joseph and Mary and had told them to escape so he couldn't accomplish the purpose for which he had planned. That is why I come to you this morning. It doesn't matter how the planning is. It doesn't matter how the strategy they have taken against your life, against your reputation, against your career, against your children, against your marriage, against your children's life. The Bible says he is able. He is the one who is able to descend and expose thoughts that he will expose your enemy. With your eyes will you see the reward of the wicked. That as far as you live, you will see the reward of your, the wicked in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. So King Herod couldn't kill Jesus because God was able to intercept thoughts and plans before anything could happen. God intervened. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible tells me in the book of Esther that Haman, Haman plotted against Mordecai. He did all he could, but because God is the God who is able to intercept the thoughts of man, the people who were planning evil against Mordecai. Mordecai was a Jew who knew his God. Mordecai was a Jew who said he would not compromise his standards before God. And beloved, in this year, if God will honor you, then you have to choose not to compromise. You have to uphold the standards of God. And as you uphold the standard of God, the Lord will break through for me and you. The Lord will uphold you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will make a way where the seem to be no way. Haman tried everything, everything, everything. He plotted against Mordecai. He did everything he could do. But the Bible tells me that, that he was hanged on the gallows. 
He was hanged on the gallows that he had made or planning to put for the care there. That is what will happen to your enemies. Anybody that is plotting against you, the Bible says, so oh Lord, oh, that I will, I will deliver you. I will deliver you and I will set you free. He says that the, 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 the snare is broken and we have escaped like a bed. You will escape like a bed. No trap of the enemy concerning your life will stand. This year the Lord has said to honor us and whatever we go through, whatever process, whatever it has to take, if you will honor God, God will honor you. If you will honor God with your standard that he wants you to do, if he tells you to do anything, beloved, give him your all. Haman could not kill Mordecai because the God of the Jewish people oh, knew how to intercept his plans. Knew how to intercept his plans. Knew how to intercept his plans. So all the plans he made against Mordecai, and sometimes how God will intercept a plan is to cause people not to be able to sleep. Hallelujah. And this morning I want to encourage you that anyone that is plotting against you, anyone that is planning evil against you, their, their plans will not be established in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. So the Bible says that a king could not sleep one night. I pray that somebody will not sleep this week. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That somebody will not sleep this week because of you. Amen. Because it is time for you to be honored. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it is time for you to be honored. Hallelujah. Amen. Whoever needs to be awake to think, what can I do to bless this person? We'll have to be awake in order to fulfill that promise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the Bible says that the king could not sleep. The story... It's a story of how God is able to intercept evil plans. Oh, Haman thought he had finished him. But I love what the wife said. Once you have started falling before this Mordecai, the Jewish but that is the end of you. Hallelujah. That is our heritage as children of God. Nobody can stand up against us. You just have to look at them and you have to say, that the Lord is a faithful God. He who has started a good work in me. Yes. He is faithful. He is faithful. He is faithful. He is faithful. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Yes. The beginning and the end. If he has started it, he will finish it. Yes. He has not brought you thus far to disgrace you. Yes. And I want to encourage you. Oh, and lastly, I want us to look at the book of Isaiah 7. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God is with you. Hallelujah. Yes. Tell your neighbor, God is with you. No plot of the enemy against you will stand in the name of Jesus. God will have to intercept plans in order to make sure that you get the desires of your heart. And you will confuse your enemies for your sake. And you will establish your feet on a higher ground in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know who is planning against you. I don't know who is plotting against you. But this week as you go out, I want you to trust the word of God. Just as the people of and Israel wanted to come against Judah. But the Lord promised Ahaz that this shall not stand. Hallelujah. It shall not stand. No weapon formed against you shall stand. If God has to intercept thoughts and plans, whilst they are yet considering it, whilst they are yet deliberating on it, God will do that to bring you honor this year. May you stand up on your feet as we take up prayer. Hallelujah. That whatever the enemy intends for your life, or oh, the Lord will bring it to naught. Because he says that it shall not stand. He says, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. It shall not stand. It shall not stand. It shall not stand. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to lift yourself before God. Begin to ask him that whatever plot, whoever is in planning, whoever is in planning stage, oh, to destroy my life, to destroy my marriage, to destroy my child, to destroy my, my career. This morning we come and we say, just as you, Joseph, oh, from getting rid of Mary, that you intercept thoughts in order to bring glory to you, oh, your children, in the mighty name of Jesus, that any plan and any purpose of the enemy concerning your lives, oh, it shall not stand because the Bible says that no divination, no enchantment, oh, against Jacob will stand, oh, you can put your name there, no divination, no enchantment against Gifty will stand in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, yakata babarakata Father, you are able to intercept thought for ourselves, O Lord. Oh, that you can bring glory unto your name, O Lord. This morning we declare that no plans of the enemy.
concern in our lives as we enter this year, O oh Lord, that we will see your glory manifest in our lives, that your provision will be abundant in our life. Oh, just as you said in Isaiah 7 7, that it shall not come to pass, it shall not stand, that no weapon that is formed against your children will stand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I give you praise and I give you glory for everyone under the sound of my voice, even for anyone who is watching, O oh Lord, that the Lord himself will intercept any evil plan against their life. That the glory of God will be seen in their life, O oh Lord. That this week there shall be news or good news. That there shall be news that the Lord would have fought for you. That you will know that the Lord is able. He's a mighty man. Oh, he's a mighty man. He's a mighty man of valor. The Lord is able to fight for us as never like before. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord who intercepted the thought of Joseph. Oh, in order not to do what he wanted to do. Oh, against Mary. Father, he is the same God, oh Lord. And he's able to reveal himself in your situation. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory, Lord. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We give to thank God. The Lord's covering is on us. And as you go through this week, the Lord will cover you. The Lord will give you a testimony. The Lord will give you victory. If there is anything that you are struggling with, God himself will make a way for you. Where there seems to be no way. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you because you are faithful God. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, if you have received something from the Lord, begin to give him a shout of the Lord. Jesus mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah.